Hello guys, today I'm showing you my favorite bag purchases of 2023. I bought so many bags this year, I can't wait to show you which one is my top favorite. I'm really excited to show you this Louis Vuitton Micro Nano Side Trunk is to be released really soon. I think it's available in some stores in Singapore. Look at the Micro Nano Side Trunk. It's a tongue twister. It's a miniature version of the side trunk. It's the size of my face. It's really cute because it has a crossbody strap. Now I love collecting mini bags and this one is my favorite from Louis Vuitton. Actually with mini bags, the bag actually looks so much cuter. And it's a different vibe super cute and it's actually really soft and I guess it's called a soft side trunk because the middle part is soft and the sides are hard it has all the trunk detail it's really cute and it goes really well with my red hair what do you think and the most excited purchase is this Louis Vuitton vanity case this is like my new wedding bag it has the monogram, the gold detail, it's really tiny. It only fits two lipsticks unfortunately. But it is such a bold statement bag, evening bag. Comes with a crossbody strap. I usually have the gold chain dangling here and I'll carry it for my events like this. Or hold it on my hand like that. This is such a perfect evening bag. I love collecting Louis Vuitton trunks. She is an iconic bag style. It opens like that. Comes with a crossbody strap. This is the fanciest pencil case you can ever get. I think 12 year old me wouldn't believe that I have this very expensive, very extra pencil case from Louis Vuitton. Another favorite bag purchase is this Viral Chanel Mini Kelly. I know this bag has been the hottest bag of 2023. Get it? I got the black version. Um, I was offered the white, red, and black. I chose the black in the end because it is the most versatile. The black Micro Kelly is the cutest, and I can see myself wearing with all my outfits. I was thinking actually about the blue, but I realized I wanted something a bit more classic, less of a vintage feel, so there's more wear to it. I love that it has the brush gold detail. It's also very matte compared to the very shiny yellow gold So it gives that really cute aesthetic Ultimately, I chose the smaller size instead of the bigger size There's a bigger size This is the mini nano size Which is actually very small Like the size of my face I bought a back shortener so that I can wear it like that It's really cute Now actually, it looks really tiny But it actually fits a lot of items If you watch my Instagram video, you'll realize what it fits Okay, it fits two lipsticks to be exact, one credit card. And that's all you actually need because everything is on your iPhone. Now when my SA offered me this bag, I actually ran down to the boutique to pick it up. It was on my wish list for the longest time since I saw it on the runway and I had to get it. So I literally took a cab and I ran to the store to pick this up. Quite happy I chose the black. I was really torn between the colors guys. I literally couldn't sleep when I got my bag. Super happy with this purchase. Another bag that I'm really excited to share, this is the Demilia Vancouver shoulder bag. It reminds me of the Celine box bag, except this is an affordable version. If you're new to Demilia bags, they're an affordable bag brand below $2,000. Uh, you can get bags below $1,000. They have really great quality and style. Now this is the Viro Vancouver bag. It has yellow gold detail here with calf leather, smooth calf leather. The buckle opens like this. It actually fits a lot of items and it's sturdy leather material so it's not soft and adjustable straps really elegant really chic it's giving the quiet luxury trend now if you are looking for a bag that is very easy to style quiet luxury style this is a go-to bag it's really pretty now it will look really good with very simple clothes like this i love a brown bag with yellow gold detail it really is so luxe don't you think it looks really good with a white trench coat and with the bag it really pops 
Now one of my favorite bag finds is this Poland sign bag. This is one of my favorite um, tote bag purchases of the year. It is the iconic sign tote bag. Now I love this camel brown shade. That's my absolute favorite color. So I was looking for a very simple tote bag without logos, without any monogram. And I found this Poland bag. It's viral all over TikTok. I love that it has double back strap handle. So you have the long strap and the short strap. And you can carry it like that. It's perfect for travel. Or you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Very spacious. And every bag comes with a wristlet. So you will never lose your keys and your cards. And the good thing about this bag is that you can actually make it smaller. Okay, so you can clip it with a magnetic closure. And you have a smaller size tote bag. That is so crazy. Now, I don't know why, but this year I have so many brown bags. A few months ago, I picked out the Loewe Pasio bag. Now, this bag is such a good purchase because it has a dumpling shape that is one of my favorites. And the new Loewe donut chain. Super beautiful. This bag just screams that you are a fashionable queen. Every time I carry this bag, people will always look at me and look at my bag. I just wear really simple clothes like a tank top pair of pants or jeans and I just sling the bag over and I look super fashionable guys this bag is so chic and you can have an option to hide the chain inside so you carry it like a clutch so I carry this to weddings or for events looks like the Bottega pouch really chic or I can carry it in my hand like that very chic it is like a fashion croissant now the thing with Louis Vuitton bags there is so much craftsmanship and detail look at the fold it is really like a fashion one time my favorite way to carry this bag is actually under my armpit it's giving this rich auntie vibe you know rich aunties are always carrying Louis Vuitton bags i just wore a white bomber jacket and i'm just gonna sling over my bag it is super chic that. Now this year I also picked up two Dior bags, the Micro Lady Dior and the Micro Lady Dijoy. If you saw my previous video, I did a size comparison. Now Dior bags are such great investment pieces to purchase. I love that the Lady Micro Dior is so easy to style. You can wear a very basic outfit like this or a very beautiful circle skirt and a tank top and it is instantly elevates your outfit it's super easy to style and it comes with a crossbody strap if you see on my youtube shorts this bag actually fits lots of items and then you can see the iconic dior quilting the size of my face i don't know why i'm addicted to bags that is the size of my face let me show you guys the magic of a Lady Dior. I'm just wearing a very simple black blazer. And I'm going to style my, just hold my bag. And look, I am such a lady. Super feminine. Just wearing a blazer, a top, and jeans. With my Lady Dior. This is my everyday fashion business combination of outfit i want to look serious but i also want to be feminine and of course fashionable i just wear this outfit and my first picotine this is the ms cario picotine super chic it has little pockets now the fabric for the canvas picotine is much sturdier than the leather version the bag holds its shape by itself I love that there are pockets that you can actually put your stuff inside and I got the one with the yellow gold this is like very military chic I love how stylish it is another of my favorite bag purchases of this year super easy to style and I picked out the navy blue shade so it looks really good with denim jeans and with Pickle Teen, it actually fits so many items it's like my everyday grocery bag now I love styling this with a bomber jacket. The detail for this is so beautiful. I am waiting for my Birkin in brown shade. So meanwhile, I picked out this navy blue picotine a few months back. My number one wish list is the Birkin cargo. Hopefully I can get it soon. 
Now it took me a long time to decide to purchase a picotine. I've always thought that I don't really suit the picotine, especially the leather. It was a little bit too girly and feminine for me. Uh, so I went ahead and decided when I saw the cargo, I really wanted it because it's a very different style. And I ended up using this bag almost every day. Now the micro bag, this one is colored. This is the Fendi carbon bag in micro size. If you saw my previous video, this bag, there are four ways to style this bag, so it's a really good investment. This is the latest bag style from Fendi um, from Fall Winter, and it's actually a crossbody satchel bag. This is the smallest size, like, and it actually fits a lot of items. This is a great bag if I want a night out with my girlfriends. And this bag is actually quite interesting because you can actually wear it as a belt bag which is really versatile. I love versatile bags. It'll look really cute as over a blazer and you use this as a belt to give yourself some shape. Also a closet update. Look at how messy my closet is. I just packed it for the video. Lots of new bags. Lots of space in my closet. I will film a new updated closet tour with some new clothing purchases next year. Show you a sneak peek. Lots of new dresses. Can't wait to show you guys. Now that's all my favorite bag purchases of 2023 to wrap up the year. I think this video is gonna come out in January. So I guess if you're looking for your new bag to start the new year, check out some of my favorite purchases. Lots more bags coming your way soon in 2024. Can't wait to see what bags I'm gonna get this year. Now handbags actually mark different milestones of my life. So I love displaying them and I love collecting them because every bag ties me to a very significant milestone of memory in my life. Wishing you all a happy new year. Comment down below which is your favorite bag that I've shown you guys and I'll see you very soon.